so this is going to be my first video and I have it has taken me since February to actually do this um, I am NOT very good around people I have severe social anxiety so doing this even though there's nobody around me makes me very nervous but I have to share the dream I had back in February. It was absolutely the best dream I've ever had in my whole entire life. Um, and if I could, I would let everyone in the whole entire world experience this dream. Um, it has changed me in so many ways and only, only for the better because ever since that dream, I have dug more into the Word of God than I have in so many years. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever had a dream that was so real that when you woke up, you had no idea where you were at. Um, that was me. I woke up and had no idea where I was at. I thought my dream was 100% real. Um, it was a rapture dream and I I wish I could say I'd had more but it's the only one I've ever had in my whole entire life um, and it was absolutely amazing but I wanted to share it with you guys um, it, it was crazy I was outside um, many people were outside it was during the day and at least day in the US and out of nowhere I was like boom up into the sky and I see all of these angels I mean so many angels and it wasn't like we would normally see like angels with two wings these angels had multiple wings and they were so happy they were just like picking people up and bringing them up into the sky and they were just it was amazing and they were all in white they were absolutely beautiful and I never seen anything people so happy and I'm like just looking around in amazement and then all of a sudden from the front I, I'm thinking here comes another huge angel except for this one wasn't in white it, it was like um, a color I couldn't even describe um, I guess you could the closest color I can describe it to would be like a magenta but it wasn't a magenta. I mean, this this was dimensional. It was like sparkly. And as this image is coming forward, that well, what I thought was an angel was coming forward. And as I'm going up, I cannot make out the face, but I see these crowns. And it's not a like a normal crown, like a solid crown. This is like again dimensional, like like completely taking out um so beautiful gold sparkly um ag again everything had to mention it, it was not like solid like my coat um uh, one moment people are driving by and walking by I picked a park thinking nobody would be out here but everybody is out here and they're nuts because it's freezing outside um but anyways then that's when I realized this wasn't an angel this was Jesus you know and as he's coming forward I I'm in, even though I'm in a cloud I am like bowing down and praying and when I, I wake up that was it I wake up and I am like cockeyed on my bed and I'm looking around trying to figure out where in the heck I am at and then it occurred to me it was a dream and talk about Oh my goodness the disappointment that it was a dream I have not been the same since I would do anything to just go back to that moment um, I was so happy and the peace and the beauty is indescribable um, I wish everyone could experience it because it would totally change your life too so I don't know if you all, all have been seeing tons of people are having rapture dreams, um, tribulation dreams, things like that. I can honestly say I did not see any kind of war or anything going on at that moment. There, there wasn't no missiles dropping or um, Armageddon going on. Um, it was just a daytime experience that 
boom, I was up in the air and all these other people were going up in the air too. So after a couple weeks of having this dream, this is when, you know, I'm, I'm on YouTube and I'm just, I'm listening to different sermons and then all of a sudden I come to realize that my dream is described in Revelation. And that really like set it apart, especially with the fact that Jesus' robe was not white. It was described as dipped in blood in Revelation. So that blew my mind. And I don't know, I guess it, it gives me hope um, that it, to know this is where I'll be and many of you will be um, when it's time. And if you look around the world today, you can see that it is time. The rapture is imminent. There, There is no way that anybody can say that we have another 10 years on this earth with, I mean, especially if you look at America, America's not even America anymore. I, I've, I've never, yeah, I'm old, um, you know, I've never seen anything like this. And I, and it's funny because I remember my grandmother when I was a child, you know, like back in the early eighties, you know, I'm in elementary school. Um, my grandma would talk about the rapture, you know, my grandma was waiting for the rapture and I totally didn't understand what she was talking about back then, but she had saw times changing. The, the world was changing. It was getting worse. It was becoming more violent. And now what we see is unimaginable like you can't even think this stuff up on how cruel people are the lack of love that people have for each other everybody is offended and nobody wants to share grace or have grace for one another and it's sad it's so sad anyways um i'm going to do my best to do some more videos um like I said, it, this isn't easy for me. Um, I, I admire all the people that are out there doing YouTube for a living. Um, and it just makes me a wreck, actually, just knowing that I'm doing this. But um, I want to also, before I get off here, is share the gospel. And the gospel can be found in 1 Corinthians 15, 2, 3, and 4. And it is by the gospel you are saved, that Christ died for our sins, according to scripture, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, according to the scriptures. And that is what saves us. It is his grace, his sacrifice, him dying and rising again, that gives us life. It's not by our works. It's not by anything that we can do, because trust me, none of us would get there. Every single day we fall short. And it is by his grace alone that we are saved. It is by believing in him. So, again, you can find that gospel in 1 Corinthians 15, 2, 3, and 4. It, and also Romans 1, 16. It is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. So, with that in mind, um, turn, turn your, your eyes to Jesus. He is coming back, and you don't want to be left behind. God bless you all. Good day.